Hello everyone, this is Professor DK and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple splash screen app where you can display your logo or your brand at the beginning of your app. So let's just start by naming our application as splash screen demo. Okay, and uh, let's proceed with by clicking next. Keep the defaults, click next and let's choose an empty activity and let the name of our activity be main activity no changes there and click on finish so once android studio has finished building your project go to the leftmost corner and under java you click on the drop down list of the first package name you should see the package name here so com.example.android.splashscreen.demo which we had given at the start so under this under the first package so right click here and under new you can create a new activity and let's choose empty activity and we'll call this empty activity as splash screen activity so that it is easier to understand and click on finish okay so here we have our uh, splash screen activity and its associative uh, activity splash screen so under design we can see that um, it is pretty much empty we don't have anything here so this is the place where we need to add our uh, logo so for that we need our logo to be already placed inside our drawable so if you go to resources and under drawable you will see that we don't have anything so let's just place our logo quickly in our drawable folder so i'm just gonna select my logo and place it in the drawable folder so under splash screen demo go to app source main resources and under drawable just paste it so we have uh, pasted our uh, logo here but we need to make sure that there are no spaces and capitalizations so i'm just going to rename it as logo.png all right so now that we have placed our pick in our drawable we should see that you know the drawable folder should have that okay so the lo logo.png is now visible here so we are just gonna place an image view here which will display our logo so so under palettes i have my image view here i'm just gonna place it at the center so when you place it will ask for the source of the image so i'm just gonna give it you know the logo which had uh, you know placed in my drawable it should be shown here so click on logo and click on ok so you should see that the logo comes here but if you're facing any problem you know considering that the logo size may not match with the image size and all that so you should see that you know the image is not perfectly aligned it will uh, you know probably be somewhere uh, at the bottom corner so you can you know set the height and width of your image so i'm just gonna set it as width i'm just gonna set the width as 300 and uh, my height as somewhere around 270 you know based on my image it should hopefully look good so yeah so it's kind of better but i since i want it in the center so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head over to the blueprint and just gonna attach it to the sides as well as the top and the bottom so now that i have my logo at the center so i think this is pretty good because it occupies most of the space you can even you know make it smaller as well so you can play around uh, with uh, the layout height and uh, width so it's your choice you know based on your logo you can make uh, appropriate changes so as you can see here i have not touched any of the code here i have uh, manipulated my design all from uh, the blueprint and from uh, you know from the design column itself so now that my logo is ready and uh, you know perfectly aligned and spaced so i'm just gonna head over to, to splash screen activity dot java so in splash screen activity dot java we are gonna write a couple of code so since I want uh, my logo, you know, to be displayed, uh, to be displayed, uh, uh, and to cover the entire screen, you know, when when the app starts, you know, I don't want uh, the toolbar to be seen. That is at the top. I want this to be full screen. 
so that's why uh, you know to get the full screen uh, feature we are gonna add in the code request window feature and inside this we are gonna pass the parameter window dot feature no title okay it should be available in the autocomplete all right so if if you're wondering uh, you know how i got this you know it uh, when you start learning android uh, it has a different uh, package for uh, you know different uh, stuff and um, there are a lot of things you can do with android and by learning you know slowly you come to know about the different features it offers so do not worry about this for now just uh, uh, think that this uh, gives you the option of not having the toolbar uh, when the app starts so as simple as that and uh, you know we also need to do another thing we need to get window dot set flags and it has two parameters so inside this i'm going to type in window manager dot layout params dot lag full screen comma window manager dot layout params dot flag full screen okay so it takes two parameters one is the int flag and one is the int mask as you can see here as as it is displayed so we are going to set both of them to full screen all right so now that um, our uh, you know the, uh, the first activity is full screen so we can just start by you know launching uh, one more class which will uh, you know display our uh, logo so for that i'm going to write another class just going to create another class which is private class logo launcher you can call it anything that you want i'm just going to call it logo launcher extends thread and inside this um, you know to display the app for a you know couple of seconds you need to create a runnable so private void run and inside this uh, we'll have a try and catch block so sleep so inside this we'll have 1000 so 1000 basically equals 1 second and since we have the try block we also need the catch block so under catch so the catch has to basically you know catch an uh, exception suppose it doesn't work so let's just catch an interrupted exception e and uh, we can print this in our stack trace so print stack trace all right so we have our uh, try and catch block inside our run and we just need to move from after you know this thing sleeps for after the activity runs for around 1 second we need to go to the second activity which is our main activity so intent as you know already by now you now we use intent whenever uh, we need to move from one activity to another so intent intent is equal to new intent and inside this we are going to provide uh, splash screen activity dot this to our destination which is main activity dot class so as simple as that this is the source this is the destination source is splash screen activity dot java destination is main activity dot java and we need to start activity and the parameter to be given is the intent itself so once we have done that we can you know stop this activity because we do not want uh, you know uh, us to return from main activity to splash screen activity when the back button is pressed so we need to just destroy this activity and the simplest way to do this is to call the finish function so so splash screen activity dot this dot finish will destroy this activity so main activity dot java will be the only activity which will be running which will be the main activity and this will no longer exist all right so we have this and uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to call this logo launcher class in our on create so 
to do that we need to create an object first of the logo launcher class let's just call that logo launcher is equal to new logo launcher we have created uh, our object and now we can start the object by calling logo launcher dot start okay so this will start our uh, thread so this thread runs for you know one second but if you want to keep this variable you know suppose you want this to run uh, for maybe three seconds what you can do is you can simply create a variable uh, here which you can you know make uh, by which you can make it dynamic so private int sleep timer okay and we can just uh, multiply this sleep by the sleep timer so we need to pass a value for this otherwise it will give a null pointer exception so let's just uh, say we want it uh, to run for three seconds so i'm just gonna give sleep timer as three so sleep for thousand into three which is three thousand which is three thousand milliseconds which will be three seconds so this log this logo launcher will basically display my logo for three seconds so why am i saying display my logo it's it, it's basically what i'm saying is it will display the splash activity screen for three seconds basically this activity only runs for three seconds at the start and then the control is given to main activity dot java where wherein uh, you know this activity also gets destroyed so we can no longer come back to this activity now as you saw that when i created uh, my project the main activity was the first activity that will be shown so you must be wondering how is this the first activity so you know to give control for splash screen activity to be the first activity will go to android manifest so android manifest file will be under the manifest folder so in the top left corner under manifest you have the android manifest.xml so inside this you need to you know uh, do a couple of changes so to make splash screen activity as your uh, uh, first activity we need to just copy paste this intent filter into our uh, splash screen activity not copy paste i mean cut and paste so just cut and paste this intent filter so cut and paste it here so splash screen activity basically becomes the main activity and uh, it is given the uh, priority of being the launcher all right so before i proceed to run my app i'm gonna make a couple of changes so that it looks much more better so i'm just gonna reduce this uh, slightly because i do not want such a big logo so I'm just gonna make it 250 by 220 so should look good okay and uh, Another logical error which I noticed in splash screen activity was I have set the content view you know before uh, you know making uh, the entire uh, uh, screen full screen so what I mean is you know I am setting the activity to become full screen here but I have set the layout here itself so it's a logical mistake so make sure you paste cut and paste this after I make this full screen so what full screen basically means is uh, you know the top part of your app uh, of your phone basically you know where it displays all your network the battery and your you know internet uh, connections and all that so that won't be seen so everything becomes full screen here by these two lines and uh, you know since you do not want uh, the toolbar to be present uh, when you display your logo so you have your toolbar here okay so now so to remove the action bar we need to just add a piece of code after the set content view make sure that you follow the order in which i'm writing the code so firstly you have to ensure that the screen becomes full screen is set to full here with these two lines and then you do the set content view and after the set content view it basically loads the layout and that's when you can you know set your action bar to so that's when you can set your action bar to hide so basically what it means is you will have an entire activity which will be displaying only your logo and your brand and nothing else. So this is the simplest way you can uh, you know create your splash screen. So now that you have created this uh, you know to create a you know proper distinction between uh, your first activity and the second activity I'm just gonna change uh, the hello world which is you know by default present to this is the home page or something like that 
okay so when you click on this text view at the right most side under properties change the text to this is my home page okay and i'm just gonna this is my home page so i'm just gonna increase the size of this so under text change this just type text size and uh, i'm just gonna give it 24 dp okay so this is my home page so hopefully this is uh, you know visible so all right so now that we have created everything we are good to go we can go ahead and run our app you can make a couple of changes here i mean if your logo has a lighter uh, color so you can you know set the background uh, as well so here just type in background and you can you know set the color to whatever uh, color that you want so uh, suppose that i set it to color primary so what will happen is you know it will display everything in uh, blue color it's up to you so whatever you want so this is uh, how you can change the color for your app so also there is in advanced uh, tutorial i'll also be showing you how you can add animations to this but for now uh, this is the simplest way in which you can add the splash screen so now that we're finished let's just uh, see how our app uh, works so as you can see when i start my app it's going to display my logo for around three seconds and then the app you know gets directed to my main activity wherein this is my home page you know uh, will be displayed so as you saw when the app started you know uh, we can see that you know the entire screen goes full screen and nothing else is displayed so that is uh, another design strategy you know which is used so that you know you don't get distracted from the logo so in the splash screen we have made sure that everything is full screen we have uh, removed the action bar and uh, you know we have come back to the main activity so now if i click on the back button it's only gonna you know close my app rather than going back to the first activity so that is where the finish function comes into play so this is a simple splash screen app uh, which you can use to display your logo or brand so if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you would like to share uh, your idea on how you can make this much more simpler make sure you comment and if you didn't like something about this video instead of disliking this video make sure you comment below so that i could improve upon something and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any video so thank you guys for watching happy coding happy learning